Hey guys, Five Guy Rules here, and welcome back to Battle for Bikini Bottom. You know, we rescued these kids. We kind of left some of them in the water. This kid doesn't look very happy. <laughs> Spin. Spin child. I do love how SpongeBob sticks his tongue out. I don't, I don't really, there's no reason to be platforming here, but just my instincts. Uh, I love how SpongeBob sticks his tongue out, and you can kind of see it for a split second when uh, he spins. And also, let me see something here. Yeah, the camera, the camera's actually pretty good about navigating around objects in this game, especially compared to the last one. Whoa, what? Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so we had rescued the kids last time. We still haven't, we gotta remember, we still have not got the spatula from, um, from doing that thing for Lara. We still have to go to the island, which is on the other side of the caves. How do we get up there? There's a switcher thing here, but I don't really, I don't know why we need to be Patrick here, but why not? I love the, the drum they use to, to represent Patrick's jump here. Especially because Patrick is a drummer. These weird, weird inner tube things, like... You got this motif of these robots, and then just, just inexplicably there's like these haunted inner tubes. Oh good, now we can switch again. Weird. Alright, secret box. Oh, not secret box, that's... I believe that's more designed after the box from, um... Idiot box. <laughs> not secret box. There's a lot of boxes in Spongebob, really. There's the cereal box. Uh, Spongebob is a box. This is the yellow box. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> There's the box network. <laughs> Boxing. Is that a... That's a Venus de Milo. Neat. I bet you that's Squidward's. Oh. Oh, can I... Uh, yeah, there's a... Oh. All right. I can get up here, right? Yeah, sock. Sock it to me. What's it to ya? SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Uh, Bubble Buddy, you might want to stay away from Goo Lagoon. People try to pop you here. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Give it a few seasons. Um, the golden <laughs> spatula? <laughs> oh, at the top of the sand castle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. I wonder if they picked Bubble Buddy to be in this game because, like uh, I don't know, maybe it was easy to make him, like, like make a 3D model of it. He's not really that difficult of a character to draw, to be honest. I know, I've done it. Granted, my, my drawing of Bubble Buddy is not very good, but... There's that guy again. Hmm. And there's a sock, which, easy to see, probably gonna be a pain to get to. Okay, so we gotta we gotta go around. Alright. Whoa, okay. Didn't uh, alright then. You know, I wish like I wish uh, other minor characters kinda had like bigger roles in uh, video games. I would I would love a game where the Strangler is the villain. Granted, that might be a little too dark, but that, that episode, man, not enough people talk about it. It's I should do a Spongy Bits on it one day or something, because it's a very interesting episode. A lot of times in Spongebob, you have these villains that aren't really, like, they're not that big a threat. Like, you have, uh, you have Plankton, who, I mean, the his goal, the movie excluded, really, is just to get the Krabby Patty formula. And sure, there's always vague mention of, like, you know, wanting to take over Bikini Bottom and power and all that. But, oh, there's a Patrick thing. This water is rising. Uh, did it stop? Yeah, no, it stopped rising. Good. Um, but even still, he's he's definitely not like, ooh, that platform didn't come back. Huh. I was able to, like, take a hit and almost recover, but platform didn't come back. Um, but yeah, Plankton's definitely not, like, the murdery type or, or, or even like any much physical violence outside of very cartoonishness stuff. And even, I mean, the bully, uh, Flats, he did want to beat Spudrow up, true. But I mean, that's just beating him up. I mean, not that that's not bad, but that's 
not on the same level as the Tattletale Strangler. Like, I, I love that character because of just how uh, almost, like, inappropriate for Sp Not inappropriate, but out of place for SpongeBob. I guess kind of inappropriate. He's, like, explicitly a strangler. It's not even that he's just, like, he's a murderer. He's a strangler. Uh, um... So I feel like, I don't know, he's just a very interesting character, because outside of maybe, like, Dennis from the first movie, there really isn't any other threatening characters on the show in that in that capacity. SpongeBob is very rarely threatened with death uh, by, by other characters or, or just from the situation. It's a lot more, uh, stakes are a lot lower usually. Which is, I mean, I'm not, that's not a criticism, I'm just, I'm just pointing that out. Uh, why is this cannon shooting beach balls all right i guess the robots built it that makes sense we didn't collect that we did not collect that sock uh i should remember to grab it after we get this well i should remember to see if i can grab it and i believe this actually leads us to the uh the caves i seem to i don't know for some reason i have a pretty pretty good memory of this level maybe i spent a lot of time in it when i was streaming i'm not gonna go for that shiny thing uh if I okay, well that puts me we the the sock is under here, right? Under where exactly? I, isn't it? Is it under? I don't really want to. Well, let's. Well, okay. Well, let's get the sock that we know is up here instead of being an idiot. All right. Super mega monster combo. Deluxe with cheese. Uh, let's get to... Can I get to a better vantage point? Yeah, but any uh, any better vantage point's gonna, like... Yeah, no, it was under there, but I don't know... I don't know the best place to jump to get on there. Maybe from... No, that's not gonna take me there. Hmm. Sequence break! I can freeze the... Oh, I probably have to wait for the water to rise and then freeze it with Patrick? But the water isn't rising now. I don't know what I did to get the water to rise. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I'm sure there's a number of ways to get. Actually, wait. From here? Uh, no, that's not going to do it. Hmm. Oh, right. I can't get up there that way. I gotta just go around. Uh, Alright, well, we'll just keep going then. If I see of a good way to get it, I will. What's that way off in the distance? Oh, something... Looks like something's rendering in, like, a mountain or something. Hmm. I was told there's some... Oh, I can break that. Okay. I was told there's some glitch in, like, the PlayStation or the Xbox version or one of the versions of this game where the sky turns, like, completely black or something. Oh, whoa. Crud. Oh, there's a clam. Right, there's, like, a little side area off there. Very easy to miss. robots respawn because I died. I feel like I should be Sandy, but Sandy's not in this level. You probably have to, like, raise the water and freeze it as Patrick or something. That would be my guess. We may or may not come back to that, but for now, let's move on. Because, I mean, why else would that freezy fruit be there? Granted, I still have no idea how I raised that water. Did I hit a button? I don't think I hit a button. Actually, you know what? Maybe from where that golden shiny object is, we might be able to get... We might be able to get the sock. Oh! The same place, too. And judging by these guys, I think we need a Freezy Fruit to, to throw there for as Patrick. Watch out. Yeah, I'd love the Tattletail Stranger Strangler to get his own game. Or, or Flats. Flats has... <laughs> A whole, I mean, I don't know, maybe like a, a 2D platformer on the GBA. Not, not, a, not that they're making those these days, but I'm just saying, like, I could imagine uh, a 2D platform on the GBA that's like, maybe takes place all in boating school, and Flats is like the final boss or something. I don't know, maybe, maybe have references to new student Starfish in there as well. Like, that could be one of the things you gotta go collect the egg or something. Or maybe, maybe like the light bulbs are collectibles or something. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Just as I was saying, I was getting better at this game. And I did this, like, first try! <laughs> and now I went back for a sock, and... Uh... Everything, everything... 
is not coming up Millhouse. Curses. Barnacles. Some of the some of the like the quote unquote curses on the show are a little interesting when you think about them. Uh, like fish paste. Okay. What what is wrong with me? Why do I keep doing this? Like fish paste. Okay. What are you what are you referring to here? Is this like ground up fish? Would that be me like me being like, ah, oh, flesh goo, ah, <laughs> oh, blood puddle? I don't know. It's interesting. Or maybe it's an insult because, like, the fish on this show are all just background characters and the main characters are all non fish. Or actually. I mean, there might be fish in the sense of uh, classified in the kingdom of fish. But even still, I, I don't think many of them are, actually. I'm not. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, as you guys know. I'm back here! Ugh. Oh. As you guys know, science isn't necessarily my strong suit, but uh, Sandy and Pearl are mammals. A crab? Now, crabs are crustaceans. Is that in the... Uh, they're cold-blooded. What are crabs? Are crabs... I'm going to stop talking. You know what? I'm going to frustrate people with my lack of knowledge of kingdoms, uh, so I'm just going to stop talking. But there's a surprisingly large amount, and I, and I think, actually, I'm pretty sure... Well, SpongeBob's an invertebrate, so... Uh, he doesn't fall in any of those categories. He's in a different kingdom, I think. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's 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 stop. Let's stop. Uh, <laughs> been a long time since I've been in a science class. Actually, the science classes I took in college were I took geology. Uh, weirdly enough, I took geology before I got into Steven Universe. Uh, sounds like that would be something I would do to take geology after being a fan of Steven Universe. But no, that was before it. Geology is just um, I don't want to say it's an easy subject. It's but it's a Wait, is... No, it's that one. Am I... No, I'm not. I'm not gonna go for it. I'm not gonna do it. Mm. I should do it. I should try it. How far can we get with the jump? We can get pretty far. Oh! <laughs> Alright, well, at least it's not all for nothing. I don't think we can make it to there. Probably should have just died. Because the checkpoint probably spawned. What is the, oh, this is the way out. Oh, is this what rises the tide? No, that just... Yes, okay, that is what rises the tide. Rising tides, crashing skies, gotcha. So theoretically, we're supposed to rise, raise the tide and then have Patrick use the, the fruit, but honestly, that... Oh, I should have sequenced for it. Uh, but honestly, that seems like... We'll still do it. Yeah. Seems like it'd be a little bit of a hassle. Hassle in the sand castle. But yeah, I took geology, and uh, geology is not necessarily easy, but it's um, it's a very uh, how do you say? It's a very hands-on uh, subject in terms of science. Like a lot of stuff, like oh gosh, biology and microbiology, um, it, it's uh, chemistry and stuff. It's stuff that happens on like a, a subatomic level, so it's kind of hard to visualize. Like I'm a I'm a very uh, practical learner like if I can see the practical use and stuff I, I learn a better job not that I mean there's many practical reasons to know about biology but it's kind of hard to you have to use your imagination a little bit in terms of visualization because oh my goodness or use a microscope or something you, you guys get what I'm trying to say uh, just that it's not um, it's not a, um, a substance that's easily like, like with rocks you can you can hold them you can study them you can see them very easily uh, you don't need a microscope or anything you can and and uh, you can classify them pretty easily and that's basically what the class was learning about classifications of the different rocks uh, I'm not gonna say anything about that because I feel like I'd get it horribly wrong but uh, I feel like there are at least a few things that I learned that stuck with me and then I don't even remember what my other science class was I think I took it freshman year but I had some other science class because you had to take I had to take two Two regular sciences, or two, what is it called, like natural sciences or whatever, and two social sciences. Uh, and I, I actually quite enjoyed the social sciences. Uh, psychology, I took, I mean, they were all psychology classes, but it was, one was like intro to psychology, and another one was like behavioral psychology or something like that, uh, which, is the which is the subject of an episode of Spongebob. 
Uh, so what is this going to take me? Is this going to take me up to the very top or where we already were? Yeah, it is. Oh man. I just did that for nothing. Because we already sequence broke this. Alright, well, let's get a bunch of uh, shiny things. And then let's finally move on from this sandcastle section. Uh-oh. Uh run, 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 run. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, at least I didn't fall off the edge. Alright, Gulagoon Sea Caves. I don't know that this has ever actually been on the show. Oh, there have been plenty of caves on the show, but not necessarily at Gulagoon. Hello, Gary. What's new? Gary, why are you hanging out in this cave? L listen, I, we gotta we gotta have a little talk. I'm gonna have to put up a little snail gate or something because this is uh, you this is not okay. You can get hurt out here. Speaking of snail gate, that was uh, what is? Oh, that's cave paintings of um, Pat Tar. Or actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they're the, I can't remember if they're the designs from, um, how do I, oh, I just, I just jump. I don't need any extra platforms. I can't remember if they're the designs from SB129 or from SpongeBob BC. I'm pretty sure they're similar designs. If not the same exact ones. I've gotten. I probably. Oh, I probably could have gotten up there. Oh, well. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, we probably need Patrick. Or this thing actually leans. Interesting. Or we could just. Yeah. Take that game. That's it. <laughs> right. We. I think we got to keep that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Sweet. All right. Uh. So could we? No, we don't make that. From there <laughs> but we did get a sock in in that whole shebang there in that whole debacle we did find a sock sockle debacle how many how are we doing on socks six out of eleven already in this stage it's pretty good i think because i don't i don't think we're that far into the stage yet there's still plenty of stuff to do uh, so how do we get up there oh uh, looks like hmm looks like i actually don't know <laughs> And this, these things are gonna fall, but do we make them fall, or? I think we gotta press something. Maybe we hit, no, we can't hit that. But we're, donde esta? Oh, oh, right, right, the water does rise and lower a little bit on its own. Okay, but a little bit randomly. Well, not randomly, but a little bit hard to time. The, uh, the cave paintings were a nice little touch. Oh! <laughs> and I lived, but I needed to press a button that's on top of there. And am I trapped now? There's a sock over there. Man, this is like... Patrick must have spent a lot of time in here with these socks. Don't read too far into that. Um, oh, there's a, there's a way back up. Thank you, game. <laughs> Come on now. Ah, I love it when caves are, um, this is a digital cave, you know, you get, you got everything hooked up to buttons, that's, <laughs> that's how caves work. Uh, you never stop to think, well, I stop to think about it a lot, and I'm sure other people do, stop to think about the logistics of, of some of these game worlds, and I, I've mentioned this before, it's just, it's just funny to think about. I apologize for that voice crack, uh, that won't happen again, I'll keep my manliest voice happening here, hello, I belong in radio. You're listening to P.I.E. Guy in the morning. There's going to be a little traffic in the Goolagoon Caves as the yellow sponge is making his way through the platforms. He seems to be dropping stalag... Mites? Or tights? Uh, all over the place, and it's going to cause a big ruckus, and he might actually be harming the natural state of this cave. Some of the flora and fauna might have to adapt. And is that a golden spatula? Yep, looks like the end of the cave. I wish there was a thing to transform into Patrick, because is that another? No, I think that's the same golden sock. There's one up on a ledge, and then there's one there. And I, th I think maybe at the end of this, or maybe like at the beginning of the next area, 
it'll be a thing to transform into Patrick so we can actually get those two socks. Hopefully. Woohoo! Well, there's a box at least, so maybe that'll help. I've been told I have a... Uh... Oh yeah, well, there's the freeze route that we need. Now we just need a uh, one Patrick. Oh, I've been told I have a pretty good voice for... Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's convenient. A uh, pretty good voice for, for like YouTube videos and narration and stuff. Uh, a lot of people find it kind of relaxing to listen to. And uh, and yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> I guess not to not to like be bragging or anything. Cause I, I don't think my voice is great. I don't know. It's tolerable. <laughs> if my voice wasn't, I mean, I I listen to my voice way 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 too much because I have to for my videos. But and I I I don't. I mean, like, my own voice annoys me and stuff because of how much I have to listen to it. Oh, are we gonna... Do we have to make it all the way back? Uh, no, we're good. And there was one up on the ledge that I think we needed Patrick for. Maybe. And I can't I can't do the jump, jump, and then attack thing that I do with SpongeBob. Because Patrick's Billy Bob doesn't work in the air. Which makes sense. Oh, yeah. assume we needed Patrick for this, but I, I think that might have been the wrong assumption. We might have just been able to... Make it up from there? No, where are we supposed to? Hmm. I'm not gonna sweat it too much if we can't get the sock. But since the sock is over there, and the platform, I would have assumed that we start, like we get up over there and we gotta walk all the way around, but maybe not. Maybe there was a button I didn't press. Hmm, and we definitely can't. No, not as Patrick anyway, maybe as SpongeBob. Oh well. I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me how to get that one. Oh, maybe maybe over here you can jump it, actually. Looking at it. Can I get up on this? No, I can't. But I can probably get up on this. Uh, I'm... Okay, I can jump over there. I might be able to get up there as SpongeBob. Maybe I... Oh, I probably need to get up on these Tiki's. Ooh, okay. All right. Makes sense. Makes sense. Little, little sneaky, because I don't always think of the tiki's as like platforms. Even though obviously I know I can jump on them, but they're they're there to just like give us more um, more shiny objects. Oh, let's play it safe on this. Yeah, super monster combo. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is SpongeGar and Patar from um, oh gosh from SD129. Or actually, I try to remember if they were called that in SP129. I don't think they were. I don't know if they had. I don't think they had names. All right, so we got that sock. So what's our sock count up now? Eight out of eleven. Wow. Eight out of eleven. Five out of five balloons, and still not that many spatches. All, all said and done. But that's that's pretty good. We're I'm doing better at spotting the socks, or maybe Goo Lagoon is just easier to get the socks in. I don't know. <coughs> I like I like the socks. I like how they were hidden in here. I like it when uh, when you can like see them, but you can't necessarily see how to get them, and you gotta think about it, and you gotta get like a power up or something like like we did with the freezy fruit um, to to get them. I think that that's kind of like a really good way to handle it because. If they're just kind of hidden somewhere... Oh, this guy's sad. Let's, let's blow him up. I don't know why he's sad. I don't see any robots around here. Maybe he's sad because Mr. Krabs... Ah, oh, that'd but be why. the carnival is closed. Oh. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse. Me money. Me money. If you help me get rid of that no good robot, I'll give you a big reward. Hmm. So the game actually, uh, the, the text there, it, uh, it, like, it, it actually follows what Mr. Krabs is saying. I always kind of run into that little conundrum when I'm making, um, the Spongebob slides, like, the quotes. Like, if Mr. Krabs says, like, uh, you know, they took me formula, do I, should I type formula, or should I just say formula? I don't know, I'm gonna, I, I have a slide that I was just working on earlier today, hint, hint. Uh, well, actually, I didn't really tell you which one it is at all, but I have one that I was working on earlier today. We gotta do something to get this guy out. Uh, and Or maybe we body slam the booth, actually. Thinking about it. And I decided to go with formula. 
this food is funnier. Clam sickles. That sounds pretty gross. Probably have to throw this fruit at him as Patrick. That would be it. So yeah, there's no there's no chum world in this game. This is one of the few that doesn't return. But as a part of Gulahoon here, and there's stuff down there. I wonder. No, I'm not gonna jump down there yet. Um. But yeah, even though there's no there's no chum world, there's there is uh, a Gulagoon carnival type area. So pretty much the same thing. Just not run by Patrick or, or not run by Plankton. Instead, run by crabs. Yep. Uh, I may have destroyed your booth a little, Krabs. I hope there wasn't any money in that, especially because this pier's crack a lacking. <laughs> oh! Uh, Krabs, I'm so sorry. Well, no, you know what? I'm Patrick, so I probably won't have to pay any comeuppance. Because <laughs> everyone knows Pat no pay. Which is ironically one of the episodes that he does get comeuppance in, except he doesn't. Uh. I believe this is gonna take us down to the lower area. Yeah, it's like a lower area of platforms here, I remember. Uh, I do kind of like that I have, well, I guess, hmm. I think there's another way to get down as well, or other areas down there. Um, but I kind of like how I have this vague memory of this game that like, it's still pretty, kind of like fresh and new because I don't remember intimate details of it uh, at all. Yeah, there's a freezy fruit there. Can I? Um, but I still remember enough that I kind of have, like, an inkling of where to go. Um, and we can't, we gotta be Spongebob to press that. That's a little annoying. Because we probably have to play the game as Patrick with the throw fruit there. Oh, no, I can, wait a minute, wait a minute. Also, is that a, that's a spatula down there. But wait a minute, hang on. <laughs> hang on a sec, I can do this, can I? Yeah. Do I do this or should I just like, no, I can't hit these guys if I try. I don't think I can. So yeah, we want to throw the fruit and I probably just like mess this up completely. But actually also, I don't remember, I think this might just be for shiny objects. I don't know if this is for um, an actual spatula, especially because I don't see anything that's like get the high score or anything like that. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume it's for that, unless connect the towers, clean out the bumper boats now. Clean out the bumper boats. When did we get that task? Is that what we're doing out here? It, yeah, actually, yeah, it probably is the next task. See you down there. See, that's good game design because we can see it down there. Oh, the Porto head. <laughs> we can see it down there, but uh, we can't get it yet. Uh, these are not the bumper boats. These are the teacups, and I believe up. I believe here's just for shiny objects and some some underwear that are just riding in a teacup. Oh man, Patrick's probably gonna be stretching out SpongeBob's underwear something fierce. Gross. <laughs> All right. One thing I will say um, about uh, the Atlantis Square Panis game in relation to this, and as of this recording, I haven't actually played it yet. That stream hasn't happened, uh, but it'll happen soon. Um, but one thing I can say as I was setting it up is that that game did have different sliders for character voices and sound effects, and that's good. You definitely want that, because I've already talked about how much of an annoyance it is that they're, two, they're, they're the same slider in this game. So you have the like obnoxiously loud waterfall sound effects in Jellyfish Fields, but then the character, you definitely want to hear the characters. Bull bull into ski ball machine to score shiny objects. Okay, and I yeah I think this is just for shiny objects like it says. And I guess bubble bowling practice. Uh, I think I need to be further back. Ah, right. oh, that looked good. I'm not very good at ski ball. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm pretty good at uh, claw machines. Well, I was before they got rigged. Uh, I've I've given my spiel about this in I think one of the uh, the season four video actually. It was the random tangent. Alarm went off, but uh, I gotta play until I get something here. Uh, but yeah, man, when I was younger, I mean, claw machines have always kind of been rigged, like, but they've gotten just really bad now. At least the ones on the Jersey Shore, which is just sad. Cause I used to, I used to go there every year with my grandparents, and we'd spend, hey, 
they'd spend like a ton of money on me and, and I'd come home with li a literal garbage bag of, uh, of stuffed animals and I've since then I've had to get rid of a lot of them obviously I don't room for them got nothing you know and then I'm 23 years old I don't need like a ton of stuffed animals uh, but I still have I still have a good a good amount of them um, but yeah it used to be fun you used to be able to get a lot of stuff and now like I don't mind them being difficult. I think I need to move back a little. All right, well, we, we got some points, and that's going to be another point there. Any socks back here? Like, I don't mind them being hard. It's just, when I say rigged, like, some of the machines are just straight up rigged. Like, they'll pick up, they'll uh, grab the object, grab the toy, and then just, like, open the claw back up a little bit, or the claw won't close enough around it. Uh, I think this is where the bumper cars are. Or, actually, no, the bumper cars are over there. I don't know what this is, but let's... I might need to be Patrick, actually, to throw these guys at the machine. I think I am. Or I think, yeah, and there's a throw fruit here, so... Let's go back and get him. Um, but yeah, like, that's just that's just cheap, because you could do everything you can to get the perfect grab on something, but if the claw machine just won't close enough to pick it up, or when it gets to the top, if it just kind of like opens up slightly, what, what can you do really? Nothing, there's nothing you can do. And <coughs> I've learned, excuse me, sorry, sorry about the coughing. Um, I've learned since that there's like actual, um, I think I can pick these guys up, right? Uh, I have to slam, right? No, that just kills them. Okay, I gotta take the throw break. Um, but I, I, I've since learned that there's actually like, like the ven vending machine people can uh, rig it, like explicitly rig it, so like it'll pay out, or like, okay, it'll be the claw machine. The claw will be loose like ten times, but the eleventh time it won't be, or something like that. Um, and that way they can ensure that some people are still winning, so it doesn't look like a complete scam. And we gotta, we gotta go the opposite way. We gotta go all the way back. Or actually, I think we could take a shortcut here. Um, Right, and that's just like that's sneaky, man. That's that's underhanded, especially because it's like a fun. It used to be such a fun thing, and I mean, I don't know. I'm sure they were always rigged to an extent, but I, I could swear they weren't all this bad. You want to pay two thousand? Yes, sure. Although we need to be SpongeBob, let's go see if we need to be uh, Patrick for the bumper car thing before we switch back to SpongeBob. Madam Fishy Fortune Teller. Coral Candy. Uh, this is the slide, isn't it? Oh, and this is the start of the slide? That's so weird that the slide starts from that angle. And also, I cannot be the only one... Oh, don't hit those. Who sees the Krusty Krab tables in this. This is That's definitely what these things were. Stop hitting them. <laughs> this is definitely what the design for this was based on. I mean, it is Mr. Krabs' park. I assume it is. Maybe... Maybe this was like a free, um, oh, there's nothing but shiny things to collect there, really, unless I missed something. Maybe this was just like a free amusement park, and then, and then Mr. Krabs came along and just started people, started charging people or something. I could, I could imagine that. What is, that's just a flag. That would, that would not be too hard to imagine. All right, judging. Judging by the button being here, I assume you could be Patrick. Maybe. Or maybe we could be either character. That's it? That's all we have to do? I'm pretty sure there's a golden spatula that we get for that. And it is... Somewhere. Uh, is it the one underneath? Or did I miss it? I, I remember, actually, I think I remember I missed it when... I stream this game. I... Oh, that definitely hurts me. Hmm. Oh, you can see the sandcastle over there. All right. Well, let's, let's see what's. Oh, that's a shortcut back. Actually, I remember that much. And this is here. We go. We'll see if um, we'll see if the spatula that we find under here is the one that, or the one that fills in for the um, the bumper boats. Let's see. I wonder how they came up with. Oh. I... I should have waited until I actually needed that. Hey, yeah, sure, let's do it. Um, uh, how are we gonna do this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, that didn't work. I should have just waited. Uh, you broke my rhythm. Now I'm gonna break something of yours. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah, I wonder why they came up with this like freezy fruit type thing. Like, on why why they came up with Patrick being able to throw things. Like, of all abilities, I mean, yeah, Patrick's strong, sure, and like lifting heavy objects makes sense. But it's a it's a watermelon, and this is like a cube of ice. It doesn't look that heavy. I mean, they could have they could have definitely made his power like be something more related to him or. or the game or anything, and if it's gonna be a fruit that you throw, why isn't it a pineapple? At least that's somewhat relevant to the show. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright. Come on, game. Okay. Nope. So that was slip and slide into the pier. So, the tower bungee and the bumper boats. It's gotta be over back by there. I'll look again. Um, and then connect the tower. All right. Well, we're it looks like we're almost done with Gulagoon. We at least know where to get, like three of uh, three of them, three out of four. I feel like there's gonna be a sock hidden somewhere under here, so I should just kind of check around. There's gotta be right, like hidden amongst the debris. I don't really care if I die here. Um, wow, it actually freezes. Ouch. It freezes like as far as the eye can actually see. I kind of expected it would just freeze up to the um, the boundary lines. Ah, I'll give another scan. Yeah, I don't see any socks. Yeah, if there is one, I'm sure I'll be alerted, and we can come back for it anyway. Um, it's a bumper car. Maybe it's back where we got on the bumper cars. A lot, of, a lot of slippery things in this park, and also I love how the electric things are connected to nothing. Uh. Huh. Well, now this is odd. Did something not spawn that was supposed to? Like, what? Hmm. Alright, well, let's, let's do the bungee of SpongeBob. Maybe, maybe we'll see it from the bungee or something. Oh, that boat. Oh, gosh. That boat definitely just drove off into the water, but I mean, to be fair, it is, it is a submarine. Right, is it like, maybe it's on top? Underneath? No, we were just underneath. Definitely said it was cleared. Maybe maybe we gotta talk to Mr. Krabs. That might be it. But for now, let's do a little bungee. Alright. I also wonder why they came up with these bungee segments. Not that they're, they're bad or anything, it's just, uh, I was supposed to like touch a hook there, wasn't I? That's that's the way down. <laughs> Not that they're bad, it's just uh just a little interesting. Like why they would pick that of all things. Was I supposed to Oh there's the hook. The hooks me boyo. I guess because they're related to hooks. Makes sense. Uh oh, we're stuck. <laughs> oh well that was easy. Yeah, I guess my bet would be to talk to crabs. <laughs> okay. Unless it's on top, but I don't see it on top unless it's not like loaded in yet. Let's uh let's fast travel. Let's, yeah, let's fast travel to wherever it says. I assume it's probably just gonna take us to, back to the beginning of this whole area, regardless. But e either way, that's where we want to be to talk to crabs. There we go. Reward. Okay. Good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Awesome. And then we can use Patrick to launch ourselves back. Or actually, not to destroy any more of the pier, will you? Uh, uh, uh. Um, can I like? Why is that there? Is that like a shortcut? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh gosh! <laughs> it kind of looked like a shortcut, but no. Maybe if we were Sandy, but Sandy's not in this level. Um, something about piers at Goo Lagoon uh, are very much like they're. <laughs> they get destroyed easily in Spongebob video games. That's what I'm trying to say. The joke is that I'm trying to make... Wait a minute, is there a sock like behind here? There's conspicuously no socks that I saw recently. Hmm. Is this really just for a shiny object to come down here? And that looks like it's out of bounds, that little piece of land over there. Huh. But yeah, that's... It's a little weird. A little, little weird that, that both games have peers that you kind of, well, that get destroyed, I should say. Um, I should also mention, actually, people keep telling me that the the developer behind uh, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman actually went out of business because the game was so buggy. 
Uh, it's like something Sky Interactive or something like that is the name of the company. And that's that's sad, but I mean, you know, deliver deliver a broken product. Yeah, but uh, um, and yeah, but it's, it's, uh, that is that is very important. You gotta make sure the game's playable. Hard crashes are not a good thing. Like people will put up with minor bugs, but not a not a huge thing like that. Oh, I should have waited. I think actually this this the reason why I'm going back this way is because I think that way uh, I don't think it's just like a shortcut back. I think it actually will take us to uh, where we can get the spatula, the thing we did for Larry. I think because I could just fast travel if I really just wanted to get back. Let's, let's time this correctly. Is that like a robot under the under the water there that's like uh, manipulating that thing to make it move in such an unnatural manner? Is there a sock up there? No. Maybe there was like a sock on the slide or something that I missed. Paranoid about these socks, man. Past the haunted bumper boats, and here we are. Okay. Back to, yeah, to go to the island. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Larry away! Well, I guess it'd be Patrick Man away in this case. <laughs> Hi, Patrick. I like the idle animations in this game. Uh, oh no, that's just to get back. We're getting through it. We're we're definitely gonna finish Goo Lagoon here. Or we're gonna we're gonna finish most of Goo Lagoon in this part anyway. I should say. We'll be moving on to the next part in the next episode. That's that's definitely that's what I'll say. That's uh <laughs> that looks like it's like suntan lotion or something. Boxes of it. Up on top of there? No, there's nothing up there. Whoa! Well, I didn't want to. Oh, okay, right, right. We don't have to actually go to that. Right, and it was it was suntan lotion because that's what uh, or sunscreen. Suntan lotion, sunscreen, kind of the same thing, maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, that's what we were doing for Larry. I wonder why the Navy didn't come and deliver some. All right, so. That's everything except for a task I haven't received. Also, I will say nothing of the amount of socks we've collected. Uh, through the oh no, I know where this is. I know where this is. I remember. I remember. There was a there's a clam check mark that we needed or a checkpoint. Uh, let's actually uh, yeah, let's fast travel that we needed Patrick to freeze and it's probably over there. Aha! Yeah. Now that's what I call muscle memory. Get it? Because it's like a clam, and clams are like muscles, even though they're not. Uh, I need to be Patrick, though. Yeah, there we go. I think I need to be Patrick. Yeah, see over there. How do? Is there any freezy fruit over here? Oh yeah, that's right. Because we couldn't, we couldn't jump up on top of that platform. I feel like there's freezy fruit around. I know there's some like inside the sand castle. Hmm. Interesting. Well, at least I know where we're supposed to be going. I just may not know how to actually get there, which is fine. <laughs> Those guys don't seem too like perturbed that we're just like jumping on them cavalier cavalierly. Uh... Yeah, no, that's not the way to get up there. Hmm. There's gotta be some freezy fruit around. We're gonna we're gonna do this and then we'll end the episode. I'll get I'll get this last spatula so we can cap this uh, we can cap Goo Lagoon off. So this episode might go a little long. Hope you don't mind. Hope you don't mind, don't you know? I, I don't know I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I'm like suddenly a, a Wisconsinite or something or or a Minnesotan. Accents are weird, man. Accents are cool, actually. I, I'm glad people have accents. It's I don't know. It's like one of the one of the cool cultural things about living in the U.S. is that people do sound different. So I know there's this freezy fruit here. Maybe we can use actually. Maybe maybe we are supposed to use this freezy fruit to. No, how would we? 
how about we take it outside? Eh, that's not gonna work. I can freeze that down there, but it's not gonna do anything for us at the moment. I might be able to actually just jump it from from here, maybe from on top of the sandcastle. Or not necessarily on top of the sandcastle. Oh, I should've waited. Okay, good, we're fine. From like, over here. And I, I guess I should've just fast traveled to the caves. <laughs> Yeah, I think we might be able to make it. And I think this is... I, I don't know how you're supposed to actually get over there, but... I think we'll be fine. Yes, feed the clam. <laughs> did we die? We did die, and we're not over there. Crud! But we fed the clam. Ah, what? Camera changed my... Well, how do we get over there, man? I guess I could... Okay, let's just... Let's try that again. Let's... let's Let's try doing this weird sequence breaky jump. There must be a freezy fruit around. Uh, so we are SpongeBob, but we can switch. That is interesting how when you switch or when you fast travel, you kind of, um, wait, which way is the, yeah, this is the way back. Okay. Um, when you fast travel, you change characters sometimes a little odd. I guess it's so it doesn't trap you because there's only switching character like things in certain locations I guess and maybe if if it didn't force you to switch you could get trapped or something like something with regards to Sandy uh, yeah see there's the spatula right or is that a sock I can't it's, it's impossible to tell probably the spatula give this a shot. I think we could make it over with Spongebob, but we need to be Patrick. It, it stinks that the Freezy Fruit is right there if I could just, like, throw it up here, but then by the time I platform over. Alright. Here we go. Yeah. Ha ha ha! Take that game! I know we're supposed to go the other way, but I want to hit this checkpoint. I could probably have just made that jump. Maybe. Probably. Or there might have been a Freezy Fruit from further away. Eh, doesn't matter. We, we, we're doing it. We're here. We're doing it. Oh, and you don't act... Oh, okay, well, you don't actually freeze it. Interesting. So maybe... No, I had to be Patrick to throw that. Weird. It's weird that they make you be Patrick but not use the ability that you think and instead spawn this stuff. Ooh. <laughs> I like the little sound effects it makes. Oh, my gosh. All right. We're going to do this first try. Not that this is, like, too challenging, but I, I still feel like I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> We're gonna do this first time guys. I'm gonna mess this up. <laughs> I Don't ever want to sound too cocky, but at the same time I don't want to sell myself short or make it sound like I'm worse than I am because that also sounds like I'm bragging if I'm like guys This is a hard challenge and then I do it in one go and then it then it sounds like I'm It sounds like I'm bragging because I'm saying it's easy or whatever or, or that like oh It's a really hard challenge that I made look easy or whatever Anyway, that's all the spatulas in Goop Lagoon, and we got we almost got all of the socks too, so that's pretty good. Uh, so in the next part, we will journey onwards to oh boy, rock bottom. Pie guy rules out.